Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and I'm having a painting day at my desk. I'm doing some self-initiated work today, so I thought I would show you behind the scenes because it's quite often that I am working for clients, which means there's quite a considerable delay between being able to show you what I'm actually working on because of publication dates and things like that. I am really happy to be able to show you some really up-to-date work today. I need to do some really speedy painting because I kind of need to finish this painting today and it is quite big and quite detailed so hopefully I'll be able to show you the finished piece today I really hope so but yeah I just thought I'd just do like a casual cozy painting and chat video this video has been really kindly sponsored by Skillshare so I'm just gonna take a few moments to talk about them and the services that they offer Skillshare is an amazing online learning platform for creators with more than 25,000 classes. Premium membership will give you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you and Skillshare is also really affordable. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. I wanted to take a little bit of time to recommend I think one of my favourite classes that I've watched on Skillshare to date. This is Make Creativity Your Career, Six Exercises to Create a Successful Side Project. You may recognise the tutor from this class, this is Andy J. Pizza. You may know him from a really famous podcast that I think every artist needs to be listening to called Creative Pep Talk. But have you ever wanted to sit down with some big pieces of paper and take a class with Andy? Because with Skillshare, you can. If you have been watching my videos for a number of years now, you may have heard me say the phrase, do the work you want to be hired for. And the reason why I love this class so much is because it's a really big motivational expansion of that quote. With this class, Andy will teach you how to take an active strategic approach to kickstarting your creative career. Whether you're just starting Starting out or whether your career has now become a little bit stale, this course is perfect for January. So click the link in the description of this video and you'll get two months to try Skillshare for free. So let me just tell you a little bit about this self-initiated project that I'm doing. I'm making five paintings, I've done one of them so far and I've got about a week to do them as well as doing client stuff and Patreon and YouTube stuff so it's going to be quite busy and quite tight but I really wanted to take part in this challenge. The challenge is called Our Planet Week, hashtag Our Planet Week and it's over on Instagram so you can go follow along there. I'll leave the links to all the details so you can see the artwork that's being produced. It's an illustration challenge and there's been five prompts that have been released and they are Flora and Fauna, Harmony, Unite, Mother Earth and Future. I've decided to kind of tweak the prompts a little bit to focus on some key issues that I really think need to be spoken about. Today I'm working on prompt number three which is Harmony and I've adapted that prompt to stand for Harmony Demands Indigenous Rights. So I'm making an illustration to kind of share the information about indigenous populations across the world. They do protect so much biodiversity. The indigenous populations have faced so much injustice throughout their history. Um, faced mass genocide and segregation and having land having land stolen from them. They've had a lot of trauma throughout their history. Currently in the world they represent less than 5% of the global population but they protect 80% of the world's biodiversity which is absolutely stunning isn't it? They're such a small minority of the world's population and they protect 80% of the biodiversity left on this planet. I really feel like we need to listen to their voices now more than ever. We've lost so much much wildlife across the planet and because we have this crisis of mass deforestation happening. For ages I was just researching indigenous communities around the world. I eventually found a community of people called the Warani people and they live in the Amazonian rainforests in Ecuador and last year they won an amazing case against a petroleum company who wanted to come into their land and dig for oil and because of this um, victory they've been able to protect half a million acres of territory from being exploited for oil. So they're doing more than their fair share of protecting the natural world of this planet and I really feel like their efforts need to be celebrated. The Warani people especially inspired me because they are led by a group of incredible women. The women were at the forefront of the protesting and of the climate action that took place to secure this victory. So I knew I wanted to create an illustration celebrating female strength and raising awareness of the work that Indigenous people do to protect the natural world that we all benefit from. I guess without further ado I'll just start painting and I'll show you how I get along with it. So this is the illustration I have here. This banner at the back is taken from one of their protests. I knew obviously I wanted to centre it around female power. I wanted to paint a woman from the Warani community. She's like a strong 
mother, she's really beautiful, so I'm looking forward to painting her portrait. This is the plant that they get the dye from to use as their face paint. Let's get started. All returning to this room for another look at that handful of men who have Dead in my pool And all the skills that I acquired then I've only gotten better with the mileage So keep on riding on your Pegasus Praying that God grant every wish you want Let the pain be made of alchemists that take you back to win with every note. And round and round and round and round and round it goes. Prancing underneath the lights and cast. Craig just brought me some lunch. A Brazilian bean and sweet potato stew with a salad on the side. Gonna eat it far away from my painting. Sorry, but this is a fucking real deal. This is what art should be. This is your calling. Do not do another fucking croissant. <laughs> this is what you should be painting, all right? <laughs> Midge, open your eyes, come on. Look at what your mummy's painting right now. This is premium. Better recognize. <laughs> Mushrooms, it's got fake chicken, it's got brussels, it's got baked peanuts, it's got spring onions, it's got a dash of pickled ginger across the top of it, and it's got like a tahini peanut butter, soy sauce, kind of 
Miso-y type thing to go in. Wow, thanks darling. Good evening. It is now 9 p.m. and I've been painting all day. I think I've done some fairly okay work. I'm pretty happy with what I've got so far. I did hope to finish this tonight, but I think I'm going to be a good wife and go spend the last couple of hours of the evening um, and the last couple of hours of the weekend uh, downstairs with Craig. I can finish this tomorrow and uh, hopefully show you on this video and if, if I don't manage to include the footage of the finished piece in this vlog then um, go over to Instagram and you'll see it up there in about a week's time. So um, I hope you like it. Hope you enjoyed seeing some of my process as well. I did intend to do um, some painting and chatting um, in this video but I haven't done that. I just really wasn't feeling like I wanted to converse as I was painting. I just, my concentration was just really intense and um, I guess it's because I'm like a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, if you know my work I'm used to leaving a lot of white space. I'm not really one for background so much. It's not like my first time using backgrounds but I don't often include backgrounds in my work and I feel like I have a lot to learn in that regard. A lot to learn about like how much detail to include in the foreground and the background. How to make sure the foreground stands out against the background and it doesn't just become this big detailed mush of watercolour. I find that really difficult um, and I'm really hoping that this project helps me learn a little bit about that because um, the best way I learn is just by doing so you've got to get used to feeling a little bit uncomfortable a little bit about outside of your comfort zone if you want to improve your style so that's what I'm trying to do with these pieces of work obviously alongside um, the main reason behind these works it's just to raise awareness about issues that I've been reading about and I feel like they don't get enough attention in the climate movement. But yeah, I didn't really do much talking. Um, I meant to film today to talk about a little bit of like a summary of how last year was for me um, professionally as an illustrator because I was talking a little bit like about that with my patrons. I've moved away from talking about the professional world of illustration um, and I wanted to kind of address why that is but yeah, I'll do that in another video, I think. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing me paint today. Look out for these illustrations. There'll be five of them in total on my Instagram page in about a week's time. You can follow the hashtag MyPlanetWeek on Instagram. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. I make almost weekly content about my life as a freelance illustrator. And you'll find all the links to different things below. I always try and leave lots of relevant links in the description of my video. And yeah, I'll see you again very soon for more videos. Bye.